club we will be doing basket weave we are picking up where we left off here with the stocking knit stitch i have already went ahead and changed my color with my just one knit stitch and i will be weaving in these ends later when we're on our finishing side of things and i might just want to double knot this and i knew my first stitch here would be a knit stitch because we have that three knit stitch garter that we always start with knit seven so i already did my first knit stitch and i'm gonna continue doing them so remember to knit you stick your needle in you yarn over I'll focus this nicely you're gonna pull that right through that loop and then take the one off We also have our guides in the Knit and Crochet Club group here on Facebook. And in those guides, you will find tutorial videos from other people that I found were helpful resources. I also have Spanish and left-handed tutorials, if those can help you better learn. So now I have my seven, two, three, four, five, six, oh, nope, seven, I had already forgotten one. And then to start doing this basket weave, I'm just going to purl four. go back, put my yarn to the back, and I'm going to knit four. One, two, three, and four. I'm going to pull my yarn back to the front. And purl. And purling is done very similar to knitting. You're just doing it with your yarn in the front. You stick your needle in, you yarn over, you're gonna scoop that in so that it goes through that loop and then drop that loop off. So I've done two, three, and four. Now I'm going to move my yarn back and knit four. And now it's time to purl. One, two, three, and four. Now I'm going to knit these last three to get our garter border that we've been doing for this whole scarf. One, two, and three. So 
so we've finished our first row and now you're gonna turn your work so that this is back in your non-dominant hand you've got this in your dominant hand and then we're going to actually do the exact same thing again we'll be doing that for one dis or rows one through six um, if you think your squares need to be a little less or a little more you can change it based off of that um, let me kind of explain that better so if you think you want these to be a little taller or shorter that's where you would adjust how many rows you do of the same thing not every basket weave is the same so it can be modified so I'm gonna do seven knits two three four And the reason why it works out this way is because of the number of stitches I have. It makes it so that each row lines up that you're doing the exact opposite on them. finish two rows you can kind of start to see this starting to take shape it's kind of waving in between the two and you can kind of read your stitches I'm gonna bring this up really close and focus so you can see here that you said these bumps you're gonna purl into stitches that look like that and you're gonna knit into the ones that make that like V like our stocking net stitch here um, and that's going to make your basket weave squares um, and once we finish the six rows we're going to switch and knit three like you would to start with and then you would purl four knit four purl four so it's just switching between the two somewhere I got off on this pattern something messed up so I'm gonna actually read it to see where I went wrong so here's our three knit four five six seven one two three four so I actually messed up back here I'm going to want to undo what I did by knitting back to knit back you just pick up your last stitch and you drop that off and make sure to not lose this loop I could also determine where it was at and just pull all of those loops off you just have to be careful with that method to not lose anything and just pull out loop by loop and pick up each loop so then I'll need to assess what I need to do here and it looks like I need to go back to knitting four
there is our first uh, square. Now I'm going to knit three, purl four, knit four, repeat until the end of the row, except for the last three stitches, which I will knit. So here we go, knit three, one, two, and three. And then purl, one, two, three, and four. And let me show you here up close again. So with these, you are purling into those V ones and you're going to knit into the bumps here because you're doing the opposite of your stitches that you did before. So I'll knit up close. And it is very windy outside, so you may hear that in the background. And then on these, I'm going to purl. Actually, for this, because we have the last three here, we're going to knit seven. to keep with that pattern. Knit three, purl four, knit four, etc. until the end. Now you should match what your previous row was. So purling into bumps and knitting into those v-knit stitches. start to see our beginning of our pattern to show up. And one thing I want to share with you is a little bit of troubleshooting. So I had done a little practice over here and I put it down at one point and had to do something else. And so you can see that this isn't quite turning out the way it should. There's kind of these bumps where in a different area than it should be and you can also see there's like a hole here and what happened is 
I had put it down and I started knitting the wrong direction. So just to fix that, I would have to take out this whole row here that I have. So I can just pull this whole row. And then this is where things went wrong. Right there. And I can actually pick this row up to that point because that's where it went wrong. So just put my needle back in. Like I put it down when I was at this point and started knitting this side instead of the correct side. So I'm going to have to pull these out. Up until that point. I can start picking these ones up because these are good. to go back to being able to do this one and picking up stitches here. So what I had done was I had flipped it and just started knitting this side instead. So that was a little bit of troubleshooting in case you find yourself in a situation like that. And there we go. We've got two of our squares of the basket weave.